2015 Ford Explorer uh, issues is the uh, heated seats won't come on I bought this kit last time my heated seats weren't working uh, I only ended up using two of the pigtails but I ended up keeping the rest just in case it happened again so I found this plug here you can uh, take this piece out here and you can take from your other kit They just pop right into here. And there you have it. Because I took the plug apart last time, instead of using every single one of these wires, um, I'm able to reuse this kit. And make it a little bit easier and cheaper for the second time around. The heated seat module is located underneath the passenger side seat. So just undo the bolts on each corner of the seat. After you get the bolts out for the seat, disconnect the battery. There, so once you have the seat moved back and lifted out of the way, you'll want to look for this, this module assembly, and the plug that you're after, right there. This module here is on a number of different vehicles, a lot of Fords. Chevys have them, I'm not sure about Dodges, but I'm sure they do too. So the way I found that plug is I punched in that number for the module, and it came up with different uh, makes and Chevy happened to have just the plug itself. So here's the burnt out plug. So I read it on a forum that this one here and the one right next to it I can connect together and it'll make uh, a double ground wire. So I guess it's the ground wire that burns out on these things and as you can see there's nothing plug them into that so this time I'll plug them together and hopefully this doesn't happen again because this only lasted a couple months so this plug isn't coming apart very well because of that burnt edge this top piece is supposed to slide out but it's all melted here so I'll end up probably breaking this apart so now that I got that all busted off from there uh, there's a little tab here you can push on it with the screwdriver and, and hopefully you can get this piece slid off okay there we go so you can slide that out of there and then you can take each terminal out one at a time and plug it into your new connector the way you get those uh, connectors out is you have to tab take this tab here and you got to push it down and then you can pull the wire out from the other side okay so i got everything switched over from my old plug to my new plug so i ran that ground cable through that second terminal there and then I just connected them together here and then put them back into the harness. I plugged in the battery, tested out the heated seats and they seem to work just fine. Hopefully having these two ground wires connected together will keep it from burning out again. I'm not sure how much a shop charges to have this done. You should be able to have it done in about an hour. So as I said before, this is the kit, has everything you need to change that plug for your heated seats and uh, when I changed it last time I only used two of these wires and for next time I have to change it it only costs six dollars with this plug by AC Dalco. I hope this video helped you out and if it did please click the like button. Thank you.